Hi everyone, thanks for joining me. Today we're studying John Civic, the paleo artist, one of the world's most celebrated paleo artists. A paleo artist is somebody that draws and paints dinosaurs, all sorts of different dinosaurs. But he doesn't just do dinosaurs, he does mythology, so ancient stories, really important stories. He does fantasy art and he does natural history as well, so things like animals from today, from the modern day and also from a long, long time ago, perhaps animals that aren't even around anymore. He even has a dinosaur named after him, the Ludodactylus sibiki. It's like a bird with really long wings and claws at the end of the wings and a really long sharp beak. He creates scientifically accurate representations of dinosaurs and the way that he does that is to look at the fossils of the dinosaur and then he speaks to a specialist of a particular dinosaur to find out about things like how it moves and the different muscles and the way that it looks and then he does lots of different sketches of the dinosaur and then he puts together a model so this could be with like paper mache, it could be with um, clay and he would put together a model and he would paint it and then he would shine a light on it so that he could see where all the shadows were on the on the muscles and things like that and then he was able to draw it from that. He's illustrated lots of books as well. So you might have heard of My Favourite Dinosaur, the kid's dinosaur book, or well, he illustrated that one. But he's done all sorts of books, magazines, he's exhibited in museums and galleries, and he's even been in the Natural History Museum in London. All right, let's get started. You're going to need your watercolour pencils if you're using them, but feel free to use something else if you would like. And you're going to need water, paintbrush, some tissue, a pencil and an eraser and of course your paper or your surface. Okay so first of all we're just going to find roughly the middle of our paper. Just push it back a little bit there. So roughly roughly the middle of our paper and then we're going to take a nice big hop up. So I'm quite near the top of my paper here and this is where I'm going to do the eye. So I want it quite close to the top but not all the way at the top. Okay, and it's there that I'm going to do a V shape that's fallen on its side. There's my V shape. All right, and then let's close this shape with um, a, a curve. So we're just gonna do a curve from one side of our V all the way to the other side of the V. So I'll just put that in. And then inside there, we're gonna do a little circle and that's going to be where his eye is looking. So we've started to do the eye now. Okay, now at the top of my line here in the top corner there. I'm just going to extend that line a little bit. So I'm going to just come out here a little bit further. And then on this side, we're going to come up in a curve here. So I'm going to touch the corner of his eye. And I'm going to come up in a curve like this. And then I'm going to touch this corner of the eye. And I'm going to do a line coming out here as well. And then underneath his eye, I'm just going to do like a little wibbly wobbly line underneath there. All right, where we've got this curve here, I'm just going to hop up just a little bit. I'm going to start doing the top of the head along here. So where I've got that, I'm just going to hop up a little bit and I'm going to start my line. So I've started to do it on an angle here. And I'm going to touch the line that I've just done and I'm going to wibble wobble my way down a little bit. Okay, I'm going to touch one of my wibble wobbles and it doesn't matter where, I'm going to touch the one up here. And I'm going to do a curve coming down here like this. It doesn't matter how your curve is, perhaps it's not as long as that one. It doesn't matter. And then I'm going to touch the curve, anywhere on the curve, again it doesn't matter. And we're going to take that line right off the end of our page, all the way. Okay, let's finish this line off here. So we're going to come into the, um, in, into the, the top of the the, um, the nose here. So I'm going to touch that line and we're going to dip down. It's going to be like a slide. So I'm going to go wee down my slide. And when I've got to the bottom of my slide, I'm going to go back up my slide. And when I get there, I'm going to go down my slide. Down, 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 down. And you can see I'm almost at the end of my paper. Don't worry if you're not. That's okay. Perhaps yours is is a bit smaller than mine. I'm doing mine pretty huge, so I've come all the way to the end of my paper now. All right, we're going to touch our line here and we're gonna wibble wobble our way back, all the way back near his eye. So if I had a ruler, 
and I went down then I would make sure that I was somewhere close to his eye if I had that ruler and I drew a line down I'd want to make sure that I came all the way back here somewhere somewhere around back here so let's touch his nose here we're going to come around and we're going to wibble wobble wibble wobble wibble wobble and you can see I've come past his eye so I'm going to touch this line here okay I'm not going to touch it all the way at the corner I'm going to touch a little bit in so about there I'm going to touch it there and I'm going to come round on a nice big curve like this and this however big your curve is is how much his mouth is open so if you don't want his mouth to be open very much then you're going to do it smaller you'll do a little baby curve but if you want his mouth open really wide like mine then you're going to do it really a really big curve and when we get there we're going to try to follow the wibble wobbles that we've got here we're going to try to follow them okay it can be a little bit tricky but we're going to give it a go we're just going to try and see what happens uh, do a wibble wobble there and a wibble wobble there and we'll come down there so we're just going to try to get some wibble wobbles in and when we get to the end here we want to make sure that these are kind of almost in line almost in line we don't want this to be really really short and this to be really really long we want them to be almost in line these two when we get there we're going to come around down here and then we're going to come back again so we're going to come back and then we're going to start to go into the jaw so I just did a wibble wobble just there and then we're going to come around into a big jaw I'm going to touch that line and we're going to go round 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 nice big jaw and then we're going to touch the jaw and we're going to take it straight off the end of our page again like we did before I'm going to touch round about there anywhere on your jaw is fine doesn't matter and then just go straight off the page okay we're going to do some work on the inside of the mouth now so I'm going to touch one of my wibble wobbles up here so quite close to the corner quite close and we're going to do a line coming down here okay so I'm going to touch that and I'm going to do a curve coming down and touching down here and then we get to do my favorite bit which is the tongue so I'm going you could do this tongue um, in lots of different ways you could have it kind of really long and coming out here you could have saliva coming off of it um, you can make it look really gruesome and horrible so I'm going to touch this curve that I've just done okay and I'm going to do the tongue I'm going to do it sort of fairly um, I'm not going to be so gruesome with my tongue so I'm just doing a curved line coming out here but if you want it really gruesome then you're going to bring your curve sort of out here so my tongue's going to be resting sort of more in here but if you want it coming right out then you'll do it out here Okay, and then I'm going to touch this bump that I've just done that bump there I'm going to touch that bump there and I'm going to start to come into my tongue and then I'm going to go back on myself and I'm just going to rest my tongue somewhere on this line here on this wibbly wobbly line that we did somewhere along there and then you could have kind of spit coming off of it or perhaps he's eaten something perhaps you want to draw something inside his mouth like he's eaten something all right so we're going to put in the back of the teeth now so we'll start with the one up here oh actually we need to put the nose in let's put the nose in next so I'm just going to do a line and this the line is going to be however big the the nostril is up here so if you want to have a little nostril then your, your line will be a lot smaller than mine and then we're just going to do a curve like a rainbow going from one side all the way over to the other so nice and simple nice and easy and then we're going to put in the other line of the jaw so we're going to see the back the back of his teeth the back of his his mouth there so I'm going to touch the nose all the way over here again Let's start all the way over here and I'm going to follow the wibble wobble of the line up here so I'll touch the nose and I'm just going to follow 
that wiggle we want to stay fairly close and then we're going to touch somewhere on this curve here or down on the tongue is fine as well you could come down and touch the tongue that would work as well and then we get to put in some teeth so we want to put teeth on both lines this line and this line okay so teeth nice and long if he's really gruesome and and then, uh, but if you want him to be more cute then you'll do probably little teeth and you can put in as many as you like just keep on going until you're done perhaps they're really close together I'm making mine get smaller and smaller as I come back towards his towards this bit here towards his face they so get smaller and smaller nice and long at this part here okay and then we're going to do the same for down here as well and then we're going to put in the back of his his mouth here but we'll do the teeth first on this one so I'm going to start nice and small on this side over here and then they're going to start to get longer and longer and do them as long as you like okay we're going to put in the back of the mouth here then so now I'm going to come all the way to the end of his mouth here but I've got a tooth in the way so I might have to touch a tooth instead but it's going to be the very very last tooth that he's got and I'm just going to do a line that can't actually let's have a look at what I've got yeah I'm just going to do a line that comes around and probably touches the tongue you've probably got your tongue in a similar place to where I've got mine so you're just going to come around and touch the tongue here and then we're going to put the teeth on that part as well adding as many as you like but we're going to make these a little bit more realistic these ones here so the ones we've just done I've, I've managed to fit in three the ones we've just done what we're going to do is we're going to do a little curve underneath each one so if I just do it and then you can see what I mean so I'm doing a curve under that one a curve under that one and a curve under that one we want them to be a little bit more realistic because on this side we can actually see right inside the mouth so we want to have those a little bit more realistic and then it will be the same with the bottom row on these ones as well okay you don't have to do this if you don't want to but I'm just going to add little curves on top of each one but just the ones on the bottom row of his mouth a curve to each one okay we're going to put in just a couple of muscles it's just a couple of lines I'm going to touch the jaw over here it doesn't matter where and we're just going to do a line on an angle coming up towards the end of the page there and then the same for this line up here as well just going to do one going off towards the end of the page over there too and now I'm going to put a muscle in around his nose here so I'm just going to do a bump along his nose I will add some colour then so we're going to need to find the first thing is to find quite a dark green so let me just grab my pencils here and have a look at what I've got so I can show you um, so it'll be something like this one um, if you're using Arteza like me then um, I'm using the moss colour is, is this one okay? Uh, can you hold it down uh, yeah that looks fine yeah just any dark green would be great so I've got the moss if you're using Arteza like me and we're going to do um, this dark colour we're going to put it all over our line so every pencil line you have apart from the teeth and the tongue we're going to put it all over actually sorry we're just going to do the top with the dark green okay so when I add my colour I'm adding it nice and thick I want it I call it chunky monkey so when I do it I'm not adding a thin line of colour like this I want it nice and wide so super chunky monkey and you don't need to press very hard when you do this and so so if your hands are starting to hurt then just loosen your grip because you don't need to press really hard it can be quite light but we just want it nice and chunky 
all the way along because we're going to be turning it to paint later but we can only turn it to paint if you've got plenty of pencil on there if you don't have much pencil then you're not going to have much paint which would be a shame okay we're going to have we're going to get the a mid green now so this is going to be my really light green this is like um a limey kind of green this one uh, which i'll be using later on so the green that i want to find is a mid green so it's not the dark green that we just did it's more in between the dark green and the really light green that i've got here okay so we're going to start coming around then But if you've done that, we're then going to find a really light green, which if you're using our teaser, then it's the pear. It's the pear green. Okay, so something light, your lightest green. With this one, we're just going to fill in all the rest of the space, right? Now that kind of seems like a lot of space, doesn't it? But we don't have to sit here making sure that we're doing really neat um, marks like this what we can do is kind of just really roughly and we can leave gaps in between our scribbles we can be a little bit scribbly with it because we're going to turn it to paint and also when we do it a little bit scribbly we get a lovely texture later on when we turn it to paint when we add water we kind of get this nice texture because we can see a little bit of the of the scribbles We're just going to add some detail. So I'm going to be doing the detail up here. So I've gone back to the green that I've got up here, which if you're using Arteza pencils, it's the moss. Okay, so I've gone back to the green, but you might want to use a different green and that's fine. So it doesn't matter where you do these. I'm going to start under the eye here. Okay, and I'm just going to scribble on kind of neatly, to scribble on a little bit of a curve. And then when you're done, we're going to add some down here as well. So I'm going to switch greens. I'm going to go to this green that I had down here. But again, you don't have to. You could use any green you like. Do 
one on his neck there. Okay, so after that, I'm going to grab a, a kind of more brownish colour, and it's going to be for this bit in here. I'm just going to fill that space with my brown. Any brown you've got. If you're using Arteza, then I'm using Coyote. Okay, when you're done, don't worry if, if you're not, that's okay, just keep going for when you are done to grab the grey next. Okay, any grey that you've got. If you're using our teaser, I'm using elephant grey. And we're going to do the tongue. Okay, if you don't want the tongue to be grey, if you want it to be any other colour, pink, red, whatever, then, then absolutely go for that. I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it grey but it's fine if you don't want to. So don't feel like you have to if you don't want to. But when you're ready, I'm just going to get some color just around the edges, okay? Because I want to create lots of tone for later on. When we add water, we're gonna create tone. And when you've done that horrible tongue, a horrible colour, then we're going to move on to the inside of the mouth. And we want to try to leave the teeth white. We want, want to try to leave that. We don't want to try to get that. So I'm going to move on to a light brown, something nice and light. And so I'm just going to do the inside of the mouth nice and light. So you might not be able to see it very well on the on the camera, hopefully you can. Do it nice and light. I'm just making sure that I go around my teeth. I want to keep those nice and white. And then the same to the nostril as well. And then it's time to grab a paintbrush. Now I've got huge paper, so I'm gonna use a huge paintbrush like this. Otherwise I'll be here all day painting my dinosaur with a little paintbrush. So when we add the water to the color, we're going to be activating it. So it's a little bit like a magic trick. Um, we're going to be turning it to paint. So I'm going to get my paintbrush nice and watery, really watery, so it's nice and dripping wet. Now on mine you're probably going to see lots of drips coming down my, my paper because it's, it's up, but that won't happen to you. Okay, so I'm going to let lots of water and give it a shake over the top, give it a little shake. And we're going to start by activating the greens at the top and we're going to come to the eye later don't worry about the eye just yet we're going to come to the eye later so we're going to activate all of those greens and you really want to rub the paintbrush over the top of the green to activate it so really rub it so that it turns to paint and then you can spread it around and paint with it don't try to spread it around without activating it first so really rub your paintbrush over the top of it and then um, to activate it and then spread it around everywhere. Keep coming back into your water because you don't want to be doing this with a dry brush. So if you can hear your brush scraping along the paper then that means it's not wet enough. You shouldn't be able to hear your brush very much. You should be able to hear like a whisper from your brush but not more than that.
um, we're just going to quickly put in some yellow so just scribble in some yellow not much you don't have to go to the edges it doesn't have to be very neat you can just scribble in some yellow and then we're going to start to do the rest of the dinosaur so inside the mouth and the nostril and then we're going to come to the eye later on actually let's put the eye in now actually so that it's dry for later on so I'm just going to go over that yellow and then when you're ready we're going to start putting in the brown this part of the the mouth this dark brown along here put that in so I've switched to a smaller paintbrush for this now because it's a much smaller area than before And make sure that I do the inside of the mouth where the tongue is as well. So we've got lots of little spaces. Nice and neat. Nice and soft with your paintbrush. We don't want to press hard on the paper with the paintbrush. It should be very, very soft, very delicate. Like you're stroking a puppy or a kitten. You wouldn't stroke them really rough. And it's the same with the paintbrush, you want it to be really soft on the paper so that it glides over the paper. And then, if you've done all of that, then you're ready to do the black eye. So you want to find a black, which if you're using Arteza, is the noir. And when you've grabbed that black, we're going to put it into the water. So I've got my water, I'm just going to dip the tip where the colour is, right at the end there, I'm just going to dip that into my water and then I'm going to do that little circle inside the eye that little circle there so when you've done the black I'm going to switch over to a grey any grey that you have and we're going to dip that into the water and we're going to do some spots on his tongue so or if you've done a different tongue so some of you have done a red tongue haven't you so you might want to use a different color perhaps purple spots on a red tongue I'm just going to add some little spots it's all different sizes some larger some smaller and some not even circles kind of like odd odd circular shapes like squashed circles And you can even add in some detail if you've done some spit coming out here, you've done some saliva, you can fill that in with the wet pencil as well. And then you can also use the grey for a little bit of detail on the teeth. So you might want to add grey, little grey lines to the teeth there, not very much, just some little dots. And the teeth there, some little lines. So I'm going, I keep going back into the water after each tooth because the pencil dries out so quickly. So you could add this to a few of the teeth or all of the teeth, however many you want.
And there you have your super scary dinosaur. Please send me photos of your artwork um, and leave me a review on Facebook and Google if you want to. And I will see you all next week. Enjoy your Saturday, everyone. Bye. 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 See you soon.